everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we've got another unboxing for you, and we're going to be unboxing the brand new Nerf uh, Instrike Elite Rapid Strike CS18. Uh, really excited to get these. Uh, finally been able to get one, took me a little bit there to finally figure out where to get them from, but I did. So uh, we're going to just do a quick unboxing, just showing you what comes in the package, do a quick uh, battery installation and a quick firing, uh, firing test, just like I normally do on most of my unboxings. Um, but first things, we're going to go ahead and show you the box. As you can see on the front here, uh, nothing too different than or too out of the ordinary. Uh, motorized, obviously it's a fully automatic um, rapid strike, it says down there. It does come with the 18 dark clear clip or magazine, uh, so that's really cool. Uh, nothing really too much except for a plug for Duracell. Uh, then on the back, if I can get it over there, and hopefully I can keep this in screen. Um, just adjustable, advertise the adjustable stock, acceleration trigger, tactical rails, uh, motorized, and let's see, see through clip. Uh, pretty much a standard has advertisements for the stripe and the rough cut. Kind of random, but that's what's on as far as the bottom here. Um, and nothing else too fantastic about it. I have to say the box itself is very um, slim compared to what I was expecting. I was actually expecting a little bit of a more bulky box, so that's pretty cool. However, it is pretty long. Um, as well, and honestly, it doesn't weigh too much at the moment. So, we're going to go ahead and open it up here and show you guys what comes inside. Again, I apologize for this uh, camera angle. My table that I normally use is not available at the moment, so I do apologize for that. But, let's go ahead and open it up here and show you guys just what comes inside. Okay, so there is the rapid strike. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, I am super excited about this blaster. This has been one of my uh, most looked forward to out of all the new releases. Uh, inside you have the manual, which is not actually that much. Uh, just a two sleeve or four page paper there. Uh, I'm guessing it gives details on battery installation, all that stuff. And then we have the blaster itself, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. Uh, we've got the blaster, the 18 darts, elite darts here, and then the clear mag as well. So, without further ado, if I can find my knife that I just laid down. Go ahead and cut this out of the package here and show you guys what all comes in it. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove this 18 round mag here and show you guys that. And that is pretty cool. I, oh, well, fail off screen there. Sorry, guys. Uh, that is pretty cool, actually. Really nice uh, looking. I like the clear idea. A lot of people have a problem with it showing how much ammo you have. Honestly, most people aren't paying that much of attention, I guess, in my wars. Um, and most of my wars are indoors, so it's not that big of a deal. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely... Um, just feels well made. I'm not, it, and it's completely clear. There's no, you know, uh, fades or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Uh, we'll leave the 18 darts, or no, we'll go ahead and take the 18 darts out because I don't have any with me at the moment. Uh, 18 8 darts, nothing too fancy about those. And then, of course, the rapid strike. And I'm not sure how this is put in here, so we'll just cut it out in a fashion way, I guess. There we go. Apologize if I get on screen here. Alright, and there is the rapid strike, so we'll go ahead and set this to the side, and go ahead and show you guys the blaster itself, Oops. down here. So, really cool, um, collapsible stock in the back, and that is very solid, I don't know if you guys can see that, I'll go ahead and set it down so you guys can see it completely assembled here, go ahead and slide in the mag, so. just like that, so that's what it looks like, completely assembled, really cool looking. Um, as far as first impressions, the stock is very sturdy. Um, it just feels really well made. Uh, it slides back, clicks into place. Oops, I pressed the button on that. Okay, so you can push it past, um, but that's putting a lot of pressure on it. I mean, that's putting as much pressure as I can on there. Uh, unless you just jam it, it's going to uh, stay sturdy. Really nice. Rev trigger. Um, the handle feels about the same as a Strife, maybe a tiny bit smaller, not that much. I really can't notice that. I've not got overly large hands, so it fits me perfectly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually hold it for a second here. Um, it feels really solid in the hands, and it so far looks really good. So um, we're going to go ahead and install the batteries real quick, and then come back and go over some of the features of it. Okay, so we're back. Um, this does take 4C batteries. Um, they're a little bit heavy, a little bit bigger than AA's, obviously. Um, but not any bigger than the Stampede, which the Stampede, I believe, used six C's or some, or six D's or something like that. So um, definitely haven't gone down in the battery size. The battery tray, again, is in the front here, so that's exactly where it's located. 
Um, the screws do not come out, so they will just, you can unscrew them, but they don't completely come out of the housing, which is nice. That way you don't lose them or anything like that. So we'll just go ahead and insert this. Um, I did notice mine seems to be a little bit flimsy. The um, battery compartment, as far as the batter, the separator in between the two batter, the two C batteries, seemed a little flimsy to me. I'm not sure if that's just me or not, but I'd be careful not to break those. Um, they're not necessarily just you know absolutely important, but you do want to make sure you put them in correctly uh, because it can damage those. And I can see them breaking really easy. I'm not sure if anybody else has noticed that. It could just be my rapid strike, um, but that's what I've noticed so far. So there it is. Um, as far as feeling it with the batteries, it is a little front heavy, but it's it feels good, if you know what I'm saying. It really makes it feel more authentic, I guess you could say, more um, tactical, I don't know. It just really feels a little bit heavier and just a more solid feel to it. So we're going to go ahead and load up our magazine here, which I should have done off camera, but I'm a little slow. Uh, as far as details on the Rapid Strike itself, uh, besides just the uh, stock and stuff, it has the attachment on the front for barrel extensions has uh, rails all over the place as well as sling mounts. We'll get to those in a second uh, once I load this up here. Um, as far as the rev trigger is down there below the uh, trigger mechanism itself. Then you have your clip release right there um, where it was on the stripe. It has that really cool uh, front fore handle kind of piece, the gray piece there on the front uh, underneath the battery door. And that's really cool. Um, it feels good in your hands as far as it just kind of conforms to your uh, you know, the actual feel of it is a lot like an assault rifle, or at least very close to that feel. Um, it just feels really good. It's got the cheek rest there on the back behind the sight right in this area. And that, again, is just really, really conformed to where it fits perfectly, and it just feels really, really good. I have to say, Nerf has outdone themselves as far as look, not only looks, but just the overall feel of the blaster. It feels solid. It feels uh, really like it's going to be really easy to use. Um, and you know just overall great quality so far now we'll see how it fires here uh, now that I've got the 18 round mag there's that 18 round mag fully loaded so that's what it looks like I personally like it um, so we'll go ahead and throw it in here there we go and then go ahead and rev it up I've not actually revved it up at all so we'll see what it sounds like okay that is pretty loud for a stock blaster I'll be honest I uh, was not expecting that, honestly, but um, it does seem to have a long rev time. Uh, not the biggest, I guess, complaint, but, you know, it is kind of an annoying. Um, to go over the sling mounts before we fire it here, there's a sling mount on the top rail here, the bottom of the handle, the front rail, and then, I think that's it, um, as well as tactical rails on both sides of the blaster, on the top rail here, on this rail, and underneath. So we'll go ahead and fire it here real fast. And hopefully you guys can see this. Wow, okay. Um, it feels like it's got pretty good uh, ranges. It's hitting that cardboard box uh, about six feet away pretty hard. I will go ahead and fire it up a little bit so I can get a little bit better uh, shot here. Wow. Okay, so I have to say I'm definitely impressed. Rate of fire is amazing on this thing. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. It single fires completely, it completely uh, fires. You don't have to worry about holding it down for a second or not too long or not too short. Um, it does do what would be considered dry firing, um, which is not that big of a deal. Um, a couple of things I forgot to mention, uh, the jam door up here, which it will not rev without that. That's a mechanical or a electronic lock. Uh, clear jam door, that is cool. I'm glad Nerf finally figured that out. Uh, allows you to see in there to see if you have a jam uh, before you have to open it or anything like that. That's really neat. And then, of course, it has the built-in sight here. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to show up on camera or not. Um, but it does have the built-through sight in here and then the front flip-up sight as well uh, if you're into that sort of thing. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's the unboxing and just first look. Um, I will be doing a review, hopefully, on this. However, I want to use it a few times first uh, before I just give my opinion on it on obviously um, I want to test it out see how well it does and we'll go from there so thank you guys for watching again this has been the unboxing of the Nerf Instrike Elite Rapid Strike CS18 if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below or check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash nerf to me too we've got a giveaway coming up so definitely stay subscribed
subscribe to this, um, as well as going and liking the Facebook page because you'll never know what will happen over there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.